Welcome to the global defense battle. The Minuteman 3 and RS-28 Sarmat are both intercontinental ballistic missiles designed to deliver nuclear warheads over vast distances with incredible speed and precision. The Minuteman 3 is an American missile developed during the Cold War to provide a rapid and reliable nuclear deterrent. It was introduced in 1970 as part of the United States Nuclear Triad, which includes land, sea, and air-based nuclear forces. This missile remains an active part of the U.S. nuclear arsenal, symbolizing America's commitment to national security and deterrence. On the other hand, the RS-28 Sarmat is a much newer Russian missile, developed to replace the aging R-36M Voyevoda, commonly known as the SS-18 Satan. Introduced in 2018, the Sarmat was created with advanced capabilities to counter modern missile defenses, making it a strategic response to advancements in U.S. missile defense technology. It's designed with cutting-edge technology to evade detection and deliver powerful nuclear payloads across continents. This comparison highlights the evolution in ICBM technology between two global powers and showcases the differences in approach to nuclear deterrence over nearly five decades. So let's start. In term of design and dimensions, the Minuteman 3, standing around 18 meters in length and weighing roughly 36,000 kilograms, has a slender aerodynamic body optimized for speed and efficiency. Its design includes a streamlined cylindrical shape with a diameter of about 1.7 meters, which helps reduce drag as it moves through the atmosphere. The missile also features small stabilizing fins at the rear, which aid in maintaining a stable trajectory during the initial launch phase. In contrast, the RS-28 Sarmat is a much larger and heavier missile. It has an impressive length of approximately 35 meters and weighs close to 208,000 kilograms, making it one of the heaviest ICBMs ever developed. With a diameter of roughly 3 meters, the Sarmat's robust design enables it to carry multiple warheads, allowing for greater destructive potential. Its larger dimensions accommodate advanced systems for maneuverability and control, including a powerful propulsion system and improved aerodynamics. While the Sarmat lacks visible tail fins, it incorporates internal guidance mechanisms that help it avoid detection and maintain high accuracy, even at long distances. Coming to the propulsion and performance, the Minuteman 3 uses a solid fuel propulsion system, which is reliable and allows for quick ignition and sustained thrust. It has a three-stage configuration, with each stage igniting in sequence to propel the missile through different phases of its flight. This solid fuel gives the Minuteman 3 a top speed of roughly 24,000 kilometers per hour, or about Mach 23, allowing it to reach targets quickly. The missile has an impressive range of around 13,000 kilometers, meaning it can strike targets on the other side of the world if necessary. On the other hand, the RS-28 Sarmat, however, uses a liquid fuel propulsion system, which, while slightly slower to ignite, provides powerful thrust and is highly adaptable. The Sarmat is also a three-stage missile, allowing it to achieve the necessary altitude and range to reach distant targets. It can reach speeds of approximately 27,000 kilometers per hour, which is about Mach 25, making it slightly faster than the Minuteman 3. The RS-28 Sarmat boasts a longer range with estimates of up to 18,000 kilometers, enabling it to strike almost anywhere on the planet. The altitude of both missiles depends on their flight path, but each can reach altitudes high enough to exit Earth's atmosphere temporarily. The Minuteman 3's solid fuel contributes to a more stable flight path, while the Sarmat's liquid fuel offers maneuverability, giving it a potential advantage in avoiding missile defense systems. These differences in propulsion and range highlight the adaptability and reach of these powerful missiles. Talking about the payload and warhead capacities, the Minuteman 3 can carry a payload of up to 1,150 kilograms. It is specifically designed to carry nuclear warheads with no conventional warhead option. It is typically equipped with a W-78 or W-87 thermonuclear warhead with a yield ranging from 300 to 475 kilotons. Originally, it was capable of carrying up to three multiple independently targetable re-entry vehicles, meaning it could deliver up to three separate warheads to different targets within its range. Today, due to arms reduction treaties, it usually carries a single warhead. The destruction radius of each warhead on the Minuteman 3 is approximately 5 to 7 kilometers, depending on the yield and other factors. In contrast, the RS-28 Sarmat has a much larger payload capacity, capable of carrying around 10,000 kilograms of warheads. This allows it to be equipped with multiple nuclear warheads, and it is estimated to carry between 10 to 15 MIRVs, each with its own target. 
These warheads can have yields between 500 kilotons and 1 megaton, significantly higher than those on the Minuteman 3. This enables the Sarmat to cause widespread destruction over a large area. The destruction radius for each Sarmat warhead can reach up to 10 kilometers, depending on the warhead's yield and environmental factors. Additionally, the Sarmat's capacity to carry multiple warheads gives it the potential to strike several high-value targets in one launch, enhancing its effectiveness as a deterrent. Overall, both missiles are designed for strategic nuclear strikes, with the Sarmat carrying a higher payload and more powerful warheads, allowing it to cover a broader area and reach multiple targets. Coming to the guidance system and accuracy, the Minuteman 3 relies primarily on an inertial guidance system, which uses internal sensors to track its position and make adjustments mid-flight. This system is highly reliable and doesn't rely on external signals, which makes it resistant to jamming. It has a circular error probable of approximately 200 meters, meaning it can hit within 200 meters of its target 50% of the time, a high level of accuracy for an intercontinental ballistic missile. The RS-28 Sarmat, on the other hand, employs a combination of inertial guidance and additional correction systems. While Russia has not disclosed all details, some sources suggest the Sarmat uses an advanced inertial guidance system, potentially enhanced by GLONASS, Russia's satellite navigation system, for mid-course corrections. This dual approach improves accuracy and increases the missile's resistance to interference. The RS-28 Sarmat is estimated to have a CEP between 150 to 200 meters, placing it on par with or slightly more accurate than the Minuteman 3. The maneuverability of these missiles also differs. The Minuteman 3 follows a traditional ballistic path, meaning it doesn't perform significant maneuvers once launched. However, its re-entry vehicles can slightly adjust their trajectory to improve targeting accuracy. The Sarmat, however, is believed to possess enhanced maneuvering capabilities, particularly during its re-entry phase. This may include using avant-garde hypersonic glide vehicles, which allow the warheads to change trajectory and altitude mid-flight, helping evade missile defense systems. This maneuverability gives the Sarmat a strategic advantage, allowing it to adapt its flight path to avoid interception, especially during the later stages of its flight. Talking about the launching system and response time, the Minuteman 3 is deployed from hardened underground silos located across several states in the United States. These silos provide robust protection and keep the missiles in a ready-to-launch state at all times. It can be launched within minutes of receiving an order, ensuring a rapid response in case of a nuclear threat. This fixed deployment in silos ensures stability and reduces vulnerability to attacks, but it limits the missile's mobility. In contrast, the RS-28 Sarmat is also deployed in reinforced underground silos, similar to the Minuteman 3 though with additional protective layers given the missile's larger size and weight. Russia has reportedly enhanced these silos to withstand attacks, making them extremely resilient. Like the Minuteman 3, the Sarmat can also be launched on very short notice, with a response time of just a few minutes. While both missiles are silo-based and thus have fixed deployment, the Sarmat's design includes potential future deployment from mobile or alternative platforms, though this capability hasn't been confirmed. Fixed silos offer high levels of protection, but mobile platforms can add an element of surprise and reduce predictability for adversaries. Overall, both missiles are designed for rapid launch to ensure they remain a reliable deterrent against nuclear threats. Regarding stealth feature, both the missiles primarily rely on their speed, range, and maneuverability rather than traditional stealth features for evading detection. The Minuteman 3 does not incorporate specific stealth technology, as its design focuses on a quick, high-altitude trajectory that takes it out of the atmosphere for most of its flight, making it difficult to intercept. The missile's reliance on speed and altitude rather than evasion tactics is typical of older ICBM designs, which emphasize straightforward delivery over stealth. On the other hand, the RS-28 Sarmat, however, incorporates certain modern countermeasures aimed at avoiding missile defense systems. Although it does not use traditional stealth technology, it is reported to have a radar-absorbing coating that can reduce its detectability by radar systems. Additionally, the Sarmat is designed to release decoys and multiple re-entry vehicles to confuse interceptors and increase its chances of reaching the target. While these aren't stealth features in the conventional sense, they enhance the Sarmat's survivability against modern missile defenses. Regarding cost, the development of the Minuteman 3, which was completed during the 1960s, cost around $7 billion at that time, 
which is equivalent to several tens of billions today when adjusted for inflation. The production cost per Minuteman 3 missile is estimated to be around $7 million. On the other hand, the RS-28 Sarmat, being a newer missile, has a much higher development cost. Russia invested approximately $500 million in developing the Sarmat. Each missile is estimated to cost between $50 to $100 million, given its advanced technology, larger payload capacity, and complex construction. As of November 2024, the United States maintains around 400 Minuteman III missiles in active service, with these missiles deployed across three specific missile wings, the 90th Missile Wing at F.E. Warren Air Force Base in Wyoming, the 341st Missile Wing at Malmstrom Air Force Base in Montana, and the 91st Missile Wing at Minot Air Force Base in North Dakota. Production of Minuteman III missiles ceased in 1978, and since then efforts have focused on maintenance and modernization to ensure the missile's ongoing reliability. Minuteman III missiles have not been exported, remaining exclusively under U.S. control. On the other hand, Russia officially placed the RS-28 Sarmat on combat duty on September 1, 2023, although the exact number of deployed missiles has not been publicly disclosed. The RS-28 Sarmat is still in production, intended to replace the aging R-36M, also known as the SS-18 Satan, in Russia's missile arsenal. In summary, both the intercontinental ballistic missiles reflect the unique defense strategies and technological advancements of the United States and Russia. They are symbols of deterrence, underscoring the ongoing commitment of each nation to secure and maintain their global strategic influence. Which missile do you think has the edge in modern combat scenarios? Let us know in the comments below. That's it for today's comparison. Make sure to like, share, and subscribe for more defense updates and comparisons. See you in the next video.